It's Sunday morning, August 29th. I could be wrong, I'm bad with dates. I was in a live show last night with Kaylee Kill. She had me co-host, and welcome to my vlog. Yeah, I was just sitting there minding my own business, and I saw a tweeter come up. Tweeter? Twitter? A twit? A tweet? Whatever they call them come up and it was from Kaylee Kill and she's like I'm on live show come and watch me so I was like ah what the hell so I went over and started watching her and she had some other guy on there the mighty Thor and they were just kind of babbling back and forth between each other and stuff and all of a sudden he had to leave because it was pretty late where he was so he had to shut down and go do some things so co-hosted me and I was like oh okay well I now gotta switch computers because I don't have a webcam on my on my main rig so I busted out a netbook and turned on the webcam and co-hosted for a bit and it was fun she wants to do another one tonight so if that happens expect to see a video which you probably will see after this video goes live of um, live show on blog TV but the link won't be mine well today I'm gonna go get my new phone because my uh, iPhone's a piece of shit and we're gonna go from there so so I'm gonna go do that today and then uh, probably give cat piss a call see if he's uh, friggin wind it's always dicking with my footage see if cat piss is uh, working at the mega market today probably go there hang out with him for a bit and then uh, yeah take her from there so I'll talk to you guys in a bit yesterday's supper for today's lunch I do believe I will Alrighty guys, it's about 12.30pm um, p.m. right now. I'm gonna take a run to the mall, get my new phone, and then uh, my good buddy Cat Piss wants me to go visit him. So, I'm gonna do that. Go visit the old KP at uh, the Mega Market. Starting to become a Sunday ritual, eh? Going to the Mega Market to visit Cat Piss. Well, I had a lot of comments out there about the LG phone versus the uh, anything else they have, and everybody's been saying, get the samsung get the samsung my only problem with the samsung is the only two phones they have by samsung are the samsung 4g fascinate which really got poor reviews and the samsung google nexus s which yeah it's a nice friggin phone but i don't know i like the lg because it's thin it's got the one gigahertz uh processor can't remember who that processor is by and it's got the nice bright screen and it's got the uh, the big ass battery on it plus it's got the 720p camera out back or the 5 megapixel camera out back with a 2 megapixel camera up front for Skype and I really like that beat now I don't plan on using it for vlogging don't worry about that guys I don't plan on busting out my phone for vlogging you never know I might need to do a quick vlog when I'm down south just to toss up on the channel and the phone would make that possible oh I should have shaved today holy shit I look rougher than sandpaper okay bud green means go holy shit are you serious You're not even in the turning lane stupid goof oh and he pulls a u-turn what a dumbass I was actually told to go to future shop first the girlfriend was talking to somebody there and chance that I might be able to do this for all the same deal and still get me a $100 in-store gift card that'd be awesome so I can get a hundred bucks in store plus uh, all the same deals and my plans already changed they did that yesterday over the phone through retentions or loyalty that means I got a hundred bucks to uh, use on uh, accessories or whatever else I want to buy a future shop I'm gonna miss all my iPhone apps so maybe I'll wait till the new iPod 5 comes out iPod touch 5 and uh, go scoop up one of those guys that'd be friggin awesome then I can have my iPhone apps and my Android apps. Of course, now I'm carrying around two friggin' devices, or theoretically three, because I carry you guys around. I carry my phone around, and I have another belt pouch. I'm gonna look like friggin' Batman with a utility belt soon. There, holy shit! So I'll have I'll have the iPhone or the iPhone, the Android phone, the iPod Touch, and the camera on my belt. Oh man, I'll walk into places and people will think I'm carrying a bomb. I have an old iPod Touch right now, but it's one of the first gen. You know, before they put cool things on them, like a speaker, a microphone, camera, a real processor. These, the the first gen iPod Touch is a real slow system. The only game I really like on my iPhone is I got this tower defense called um, Tower Defense Madness. And basically you're protecting a flock of sheep versus aliens. Oh, geez. Yeah, just go ahead. Friggin' security, just like I'm the cops. 
Uh, you might as well take point two, bud. It's the only really game I, I like on my iPhone. I tend to kill my battery pretty quick playing it. And the girlfriend's got it on her iPad. But also, I should mention, the girlfriend wants to sell her iPad to buy the HTC Flyer because she really likes the Flyer because... No, you, you guys got the right away. No, go just, just, just cross. Oh, whatever. Oh, today's the day of the dumb at the mall, guys. Day of the dumb. So I'm gonna go score my, my new cell phone. See if I can do that future shit. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can get in here. Holy crap, traffic galores. I love that when you're waiting to make a turn, but you can't because the guy who's last in line is doing like four kilometers an hour. And he's looking at you too, right? Because he knows that you want to do something, but he's such a twain. We're at the mall now. Let's go park this wreck and then uh, go talk cell phone deals. This is probably going to take a while. I don't know how long it takes for them just to uh, rip a card out of the arse end of my phone and slap it in a new phone. And I don't know what kind of card my phone has. I'll uh, friggin' be back. And hopefully I'll be rocking a new phone and everything will be cool. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, I got the new phone, putting a charge on it, it's the LG Optimus Black, a screen for you. It's kind of dark right now because it's sunny out, but I'm just charging it. Got the uh, cameras on the back and all that stuff. And Well, I'm going to take it home and uh, let's go visit Cat Piss, but he's apparently busy. So I'm just going to head her home and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. I've been home for a bit, been playing with this phone and trying to get things set up and I got the Twitter working, I got the Facebook working. I have a little bit of problems with the YouTube. Apparently it keeps unsyncing my account and I'm having problems downloading apps. It's just not, it says it starts downloading and then it just kind of hangs there. So I'm probably doing something wrong. I'll have to uh, figure that out. <laughs> it's just quite the changeover from Apple to Android, I guess. So far the overall performance is like 300 times better. So, you know, I'm actually able to send and receive text messages from people. So that's a bonus and yeah. Hey, Oreo! Stupid dog. Freaking dog's eating his own poop. Such an idiot. Anywho, I'm heading back inside to play with that, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. It's about uh, 3.30 now. I'm gonna go meet up with Cat Piss at the Mega Market. He's almost done work, but he's bored out of his tree, so I figured I'd go and visit him. And also, uh, see what the what is. I'm gonna go to the Hortons and grab a coffee. Go do that now and then uh, head her out to uh, the friggin' store. So, so I'm liking my new phone. I'm just having an issue that apparently a lot of people are having issues with. I Google searched it. And that's downloading from the app market, the Google Android app market. Apparently, what's happening to me is happening to a bunch of people. It's where you go to download an app and it just kind of sits there like an idiot saying downloading and it doesn't download the app. Now, uh, one of the posts that I saw, dude was talking about something called the Snaps Market, which is like another app store for Android, where you can get a bunch of apps and they have all the same apps as the app market, but I don't know much about it, but they're all free. So you don't have to submit no credit card or use your Google wallet, I guess, that they use. Uh, you're not gonna pay attention. You're just gonna uh, go ahead and just freaking do it so you don't have to submit your credit card you don't have to submit nothing like that you just freaking download your apps and you're good to go so that's pretty awesome so I installed that and then I installed advanced app task killer or, uh, advanced task killer apparently it's a required app for Android because when you open an app it doesn't actually close the app one thing I got to do now is get my Skype updated on the freaking thing but maybe I can do it through the snaps store thing I don't know. Or I might have to just download the app from uh, the internet on my computer, transfer it over to my phone, and then install it that way. Something you can't do with an iPhone. Also, I can change my ringtones on here, and I can make my own ringtones without having to use iTunes to import them. So that's a bonus. Well, I'm at Horton's now. I'm going to grab a coffee, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Down here at the Mega Market with Capis. He's somewhere up there. There he is. Oh, you're doing some oh yeah. For us. Yeah, more promotion every week. Oh, check it out, guys. Got the Eco Pet in the store now. 
And they got a price tag on it, 750 bucks. It's the cheapest one in town, that's for sure. Everywhere else wants like a thousand bucks, especially Walmart. But check this out, double headlights all the way. So you got a headlight on the steering wheel or handlebars and a headlight on the main dash. That's pretty sweet. 750 bucks and you can be pimping in style. I'm telling you. I saw this thing going earlier and it's actually pretty decent. I probably or crushed the off. suspension, but... Oh, what? Or better offer? Yep. Or better offer. So there you go. If you're in the North Bay area and you want to cruise around in style, come into the Mega Market. Yeah, winning. Alrighty guys, we're done here at the Mega Market. It's actually closed now. Just came down to visit with Cat Post. And I'm heading her home. I'm gonna go home and make steakums. Yummy, yummy steakums. So, gonna burn rubber and get home. Let me tell you, that place where that store is, that uh, the, the mega market, used to be known as a restaurant called The Fifth. And there's been so many violent deaths in there. Like, I don't know if you believe in ghosts or not, but I, if I would have had the camera going just before we closed, holy crap, man. Holy crap. We're sitting there, Cat Piss is counting the uh, the cash, and doing his cash out for the day. If anybody's ever done retail, you know what that's all about. Where you gotta basically tally up all the bills and all that stuff. And then uh, I'm just sitting there with him, we're just chatting, and all of a sudden, you hear the sound of ringing at the far end of the store. Me, I thought nothing of it, because, well, I've been around that freaky shit for so long that I just ignore it now. But he's like, oh, did you hear that? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he goes, that's nothing. And then he tells me this story. This uh, one time he's sitting there, he's working, and all of a sudden, every alarm clock on the one shelf decides to go off. Problem is, is only some of them are actually powered up because they run on battery, but everyone was going off. By the time he got there, they all turned themselves off. So, like, there's been some violent deaths in that place. My buddy actually has a book. Actually, uh, Adrian, ADG, ADGE0042, I believe, has a book on uh, on North Bay and history in North Bay. And one of the things is that old fifth and all the violent deaths and murders. And apparently, um, a little while back, I would say probably, I think uh, Angry Joe told me it was in 94, there was a situation where... Uh, an armed gunman went in there to rob the place. A waitress got shot, a couple people got shot, and then the guy shot himself. And then he told me another story about a businessman who walked in there with a briefcase, sat down in the back corner by the oval window, ordered himself a nice steak dinner and dessert, and ate his meal, and then came time to pay the bill, so he pays the bill, leaves the, um, the waitress a huge tip, opens up his briefcase, pulls out a pistol, and blows his head off, just shoots himself. Like, it was a real serious, messed up place back in the day. And then, uh, Cat Piss's dad bought it, and they turned it into the Mega Market, which is basically like, uh, it's like a flea market. Like, you've seen the stuff in there, and you can usually haggle in prices, and they got all sorts of different stuff, like a flea market would. And they've been running it at, you know, just running it as a, as a weekend type store of, for the fun of it. And um, Cat Pest has been saying that there's been some weird stuff happening in there. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, if you do believe in the whole ghosts and spirits thing, then awesome. If you think I'm crazy for uh, not believe, for believing in it, well, uh, you know, that's your own thing. It's better off you don't believe than you, than you do believe, because uh, let me tell you, once you get into it, shit changes. I know one Bubba Mike One asked me a question on my uh, questions and answers video about that, about me being a ghost chaser back in the day. And I told him I got out of it. And it's because shit got real. And, you know, when, when people start getting hurt while you're doing that stuff, that's when you decide you, you got to pull out. You got you to gotta quit. You got to friggin', you know, stop. But, um, yeah, sure enough. That place is a hot spot. I guarantee you, if I found my old gear and I brought it in there, I can get that EMF meter to spike non-stop. I gotta find my old gear. Cause I still have my EMF meter and my EVP, and they should both still work. I took the batteries out of them, so I shouldn't have any alkaline leak. But uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty insane indeed. And if I would've had my camera going and that noise would've got picked up, well, holy shit, that was crazy. Because I, I couldn't explain it. I went back to where the noise was and there was nothing back there that could have rang. There was no chains, no nothing. And it literally sounded like, um, kind of like a door buzzer at a convenience store. When you open it up, you hear that, 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 that synthesized ring sound. That's what it sounded like. So it was pretty cocked. And um, I went and investigated where the sound came from and there was no reason for that sound to have come from that location. So, oh well. But anywho, I'm almost home. We're gonna do steakums tonight and uh, should be pretty freaking good. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
All right, so like I said, we're gonna do steakums for supper. So we got these uh, fresh co eye of round flash fry, whatever. They're pretty thin, they'll work out well. I'm gonna go to ahead and take these, pitch them in the pan, cover them in water, throw the onion soup mix on them, and we'll be ready to rock. That's basically all I do is put your steaks in the pan, put some water in there, and then cover it up with some tin foil, and you're good to go. Sweet. All you do is preheat your oven to 375 and set it to bake, which turns on the bottom element. Once it's preheated, pitch them in for 45 minutes. That's what I normally do. And then din din is served. So I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes and some vegetables with this too. It should be pretty good. And yeah, let's get this party started. Alrighty, time for the unveiling. Yeah, double steaks all the way. Freaking right. And then I did some uh, herb and garlic mashed potatoes. And we're gonna have some uh, friggin' green peas with that. So dinner should be pretty friggin' awesome tonight. Can't wait, I'm so hungry. What do you say, Felix? Felix, hey, what do you say? Sniff. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Mashed potatoes, green peas, steakums. I'm gonna go eat right now, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, we're gonna go to Walmart because we need to pick up some stuff, and then we're gonna come back and watch some True Blood because that plays at nine. Am I right? You get mad when I do that. See how mad she gets? <laughs> it's funny. All right, we're heading out. Well, the girlfriend decided she wanted ice cream after Walmart, so uh, we're down here at the green store. Summer sale, 50% off. Oh yeah, it's time for True Blood. I'm gonna watch some True Blood, and then maybe later on tonight, might go up for coffee with Cat Piss. So I'll keep you guys updated. Well, we just got done watching True Blood. It was a good episode. Um, still pretty cocked up, but I think they're working up to their final uh, final episodes coming up soon. So, we'll have to see how that goes next week. And then uh, onward to the new sitcoms that come out. You know, like Big Bang Theory and Supernatural. Oh, and that uh, with Two and a Half Men. Let's see what kind of cocked ass shit they would do with that now that Charlie Sheen's off the air. Should be interesting to see what kind of, uh, kind of a show they set up with that Ashton Kutcher doing the job of Charlie Sheen. Uh, somebody told me that they're apparently they're killing off Charlie Sheen's character or something, but he goes to Europe and steps in front of a bus or something. I don't know. I didn't look into it too much. I'm just going to wait for the first episode to come out, watch it, judge it, decide if I like it or not, and then take it from there. But uh, Capes wants to go for coffee after 10. It's currently after 10, so I'm going to text him and see what's going on, and then we'll take it from there. So, freaking right. Talk to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, it's about 1.30 in the morning now and uh, came back from coffee with Rex 4x4 and Cat Piss. Didn't bother filming much over there because we we're just chatting and talking about stuff and uh, Rex is thinking about buying a new camera and Cat Piss is talking about RC stuff and he's got a video he's trying to upload actually, Cat Piss. It made it to YouTube but for some reason it's stuck on processing so now I'm kind of scared to upload my vlog. It's probably going to get frigged over like that one did but we'll see, we'll see. So the vlog's late, you know why? but I also uh, found a problem with my phone and managed to fix it apparently with Google Android um, when you set up your phone it wants a Google account well when I initially set it up I set it up with my YouTube account which doesn't have a Gmail bound to it and it didn't like that very much it actually every time I tried to download an app off the App Store it would bitch it would actually it would go to downloading so I'd be able to pick the app click on install it would say downloading but the little bar would just stay there and it wouldn't download so I thought maybe there's something wrong with the App Store so the girlfriend tries it on her HTC Hero and sure as shit downloads the, the app right away so I'm like what the hell's wrong with this thing all pissed off and uh, after doing some research I realized oh it's got to be a gmail account or a account that can go on something called google talk which I found out afterwards is kind of like skype but google's version so I didn't know how to reset the app store's uh, account bound email thing uh oh Okay, so what I ended up doing was a uh, factory reset on the phone. Luckily, all my contacts are stored on the SIM card because the guy at TELUS was nice enough to take my SIM card, plug it into a USB stick, and then plug my cell, my old TELUS phone, my old iPhone, into a computer, and they did some sort of a software transfer, and all the contacts and junk got moved over. So I didn't lose my contacts. So... That was awesome. I did a factory reset, reset up the phone, I had to put in all my email addresses. This time I registered it with a Gmail account that I tested on my computer that can go on Google Talk. And now I can download apps. So now the phone's working perfectly. And I gotta say, I'm probably gonna do a review on this because a lot of people question the Android. And I gotta say the YouTube app for Android is so much better than the one for the iFail, uh, iPhone. Um, Apple should really take some notes on their YouTube app and maybe use some of the features because friggin' 
awesome on the Android. Got Skype working on it. I tested the video camera on it. It's actually really clean. The audio on it's really clean. Uh, I'm not going to vlog with it though because, well, unless I'm in a pinch, this thing's out of battery and I forgot the spare at home, then I just might accidentally do it. But yeah, I'm thinking uh, I'm just going to use it as like a backup cam in case I need to. But, um, oh, my phone just made a weird noise. What the hell is that? Two messages. Rex. Rex is asking me if I have a wooden or a little metal hacksaw. Holy shit Rex. What do you want? He needs one in the morning to cut a little bolt. So I gotta find a hacksaw. Oh I got one up there. Okay we're good. See look I got a hacksaw. I actually have one of those. How cool is that? But see that? Just got distracted while vlogging. Texting while vlogging. Good thing there's no fine against that eh? Holy crap, Rex, you're doing it again. You must know I'm vlogging, eh? So that's why he's doing this. Freaking guy. You know what? I'm just gonna leave my phone out because he's just gonna text me again in like five seconds. He's texting while driving. I'm texting while vlogging. But, uh, yeah, I got that one up there. That should be good enough for what he wants to do, I'm thinking. I hope. Because, um, I don't know where that one went that I got for Christmas. And it comes again. I need to get some better sounds for my uh, ringtones here. Okay, so he'll be here in five seconds or minutes or hours. Yeah, I had a little one that was actually pretty decent for doing that kind of shit, but I don't know where it went. What was I talking about before? I uh, can't remember what I was talking about before I got rudely interrupted. You guys, uh, you know, you, you want to uh, go rip on Rex for rudely interrupting the vlog. Um, his channel is uh, Rex4x4. That's R-E-X-4x4, little annotation. You can go and rip on him for uh, interrupting the vlog. Apparently he's got a video up, I haven't seen it yet, but um, how to strip a uh, living trailer down using nothing but a, um, uh, a winch. So yeah, if you want to check that out. Uh, it's on his channel, I think he said it's the most recent video, but uh, yeah, I'll grab that hacksaw and get it ready for him, because he'll be over here soon. Yeah, that should do the job. That looks pretty uh, brand new, never been used. Freaking awesome blade on it. He can have at her. Anywho, but yeah, I, I'm gonna be doing a tech video on the uh, on the phone because it's really cool. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna shut the vlog down here. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Cause you know me, I like it when you hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and figure I like that. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to leave them. Comment section, I'll respond. <laughs> Oh, I better check myself. And until next time, guys, keep on blogging.